drive toward Seoul. For a drive toward Seoul, which is progressing on schedule. Now that everyone in the art world has admitted that yes, we are not immune from the, the recession and everyone is kind of suffering. For a long time the art world was in denial. So the good news is we don't have to fake it anymore. And the bad news is that the party's over. No one's making their mega bucks. There's no more fucking around. Well, I stopped by a gallery and I bought some stuff. I mean, I don't have very much money, but you gotta keep the economy moving forward. Move it forward. But where did you get the fucking money? Don't worry about it. No, you can always support artists in some way or another. You can show up at the shows, you can buy cheap stuff. There's always stuff that you can buy. Make sure to visit those places that you like and spend a couple of bucks while you're there. Help everybody out. Charlie James had shared with me that he felt that the focus of his gallery was both pop and conceptual, which I found to be an interesting kind of mix. And so the pop quality of the red, yellow, blue, green dots just seemed to make sense for this particular work. And I've done a lot of works on the floor. I, I, my sculpture is very two-dimensional, so of course, because it's on the floor, it had the uh, possibility to be walked on. I never expected anyone to play it, but in fact, uh, over the course of two different receptions, it was walked on by people, and in two cases, the people almost lost their balance, which I can't think of an instance where I would want my art to have harmed someone. And I mean, it, just because I... I really, that, David, that, please tell the truth. No, I mean, that would just sort of spoil some of the fun of it all. But the fact that people lost their balance and almost fell, now that I liked, actually. I, I really enjoy doing things that distort or change somehow popular culture amusements. Whether it's jigsaw puzzles that I've glued upside down so that you can never see what the puzzle is. Um, it's just like fucking with people, right? <laughs> Basically. Well, I, mean, I think that could be one way of looking at it. It's not my intention to do that as much as it emanates from a continuing interest I have in rendering things useless. first reception someone asked the bartender if I had intentionally injured the butterfly for the picture. <laughs> no, uh, no insects were have armed never made art to make the art. <laughs> <laughs> There's a recent history about Chinatown. And it's considered a serious exhibition. If you're in Chinatown, it's just funny that my show was much more conceptual than most work I see in Chinatown. But I mean, Chinatown's, a, it's fun. I mean, I love the, especially at night, the lights are just fabulously wonderful. The little lanterns hanging all over. And, and I think people want to get out. I don't know if they're, I don't think the crowds are diminished. I can't imagine that the uh, current economic situation being good for sales. But the great thing about art is if someone sees something that they just fall in love with, somehow they'll figure out a way to be able to buy it. Hey, you want to stop by Story's Bookstore in Echo Park? I mean, I, I think they're doing like some poetry and spoken art there tonight. That sounds great. So since kind of looking forward is also about looking back, I wrote um, some palindromes to cover the last eight years of the book presentation, kind of a send off. For 2001, this is our, our first um, view of the president, which is a fool, dumb as a mud loofah. <laughs> Um, for 2002 is uh, uh, Dick Cheney's view of himself, 
uh, a lion in oil, <laughs> <laughs> followed by 2003, which was um, uh, the Mideast view of Dick Cheney, uh, including a really bad transliteration of, of Arabic. Halliburton, oh, do not rub Allah. <laughs> <laughs> um, followed by something which is as self-explanatory as it is nonsensical. Uh, Murda Saddam, mad as a drum. Um, in 2005, there's the, the endless car bombings and truck bombings and car bombings and truck bombings leading to uh, the uh, American troops just wanting a little bit of diversity. Smart martyr, try tram. Trams! Um, 2006, as things go bad on both the uh, domestic and foreign fronts, we have E, TSA, troops are diced, W, decider, as poor taste, E, <laughs> E, <laughs> followed in 2007 by war made me damn raw, <laughs> and in 2008, um, for, for the women who love Obama and those who love them, there's <laughs> mm, my Obama mama, boy, mm. <laughs> And for 2009, the, the only one that I did not write but which seemed appropriate, are we not drawn onward, we few drawn onward to new era? <laughs> okay, you know, that was pretty cool. I'm not big on poetry per se, but I like that. Hell jokes. Oh, that guy's pretty good. I have a natural palindro, you know. Yeah. Yeah, it's, do you know what it is? No. Tulsa. And backwards, it's spelled a slut. Okay, Paige, now what is this that we're looking at? This is a Phantom Galleries window. Well, no, I know Phantom Galleries. Oh, this I'm is... I'm familiar with those. They're all over town. Long Beach, everywhere. They are. You're right. You no, no, no. I mean, maybe you didn't I... know if I knew, but of course I know. This one's called The Long Weekend. Well, yeah, you know, because they do them all over the place, and I, I haven't actually seen one in Pasadena for a while. Yeah, this one's up for three days, but then there's another one coming up. always behind was their motive. I mean, everyone was like, will this sell? Will this sell? And no one used to think about art that way. So maybe that part of the recession will be good for artists. Artists are problem solvers. So maybe it's easier. They'll make better art when they're not using, you know, 5,000 uh, assistants. You know, maybe they'll have to go back and actually paint or something. So I don't know. Maybe that kind of uh, logic is good for the art world in that way because we maybe we'll see better art. Bow, bow, bow.